team Nick Richards? Uh, I think uh, we just did a good job of uh, playing physical and um, just every time, every time a guard, uh, their guard drove to the basket, we knew they were gonna look for him. So we just stayed with him instead of rotating over for the block. So I feel like that uh, that helped a lot. How did you evaluate how you did in the second half, especially working with three fouls? Oh yeah, I just tried to stay out of foul trouble. Um, uh, coach um, started Ant, so uh, he came with the energy, and I just knew I just had to play smart in the second half. So I think I did a good job with that. For for both of you, it wasn't all that long ago where fans had stormed the courts after you guys beat Kentucky. Do y'all want people to get? I mean, these are always going to be special, but do you want them to get a little more used to it? These kind of big wins. Oh yeah, that's why um, Mir can attest to this. That's why we came here to make history and. Um, like you said, fans should get used to this because we work hard, and uh, it shouldn't be a surprising win every time we uh, beat good teams like Kentucky. Uh, we got good players too, so so they should get used to it. Smear was close until the last four minutes. You guys started pulling away. What'd you guys do late? Good point. Uh, down the stretch, we seen that uh, Isaac had a mismatch, so uh, we just wanted to keep giving him the ball. We knew at the end of the day he was going to make the right play, whether that's finishing or getting his teammate. Involved in. Uh, we seen a mismatch, and as a, if you want to be a great ball club, you gotta take mismatches, and no matter who's hot, so that's what we did. So you, had, go ahead. you had ten really quick points. How important was that for for you to keep uh, up with them early on? Uh, it was it was good. They just was falling. I just make free throws. So. I mean, <clears throat> they they were struggling to stay in front at the beginning of the game. I don't know what was going on with their players. They just struggled to stay in front at certain times. And, I got I was capable of getting to the rim and they was following me. Austin talked about you guys were plus fourteen and running down margin. How big that was for you guys. Um yeah, it's a, I feel like that was a big difference in the game. Like I said before, um to reiterate, I uh try to crash the boards hard every game. I feel like if I do that well, that's how my team's gonna win. So uh I feel like that showed tonight. So what do you think of the students some of them waking up at three thirty in the morning? Uh, I think we have the best fans in the country, and uh, I think this is the hardest place to play in the country, but it would not be like that without those guys, so that shows how committed they are and uh, how great of a crowd that we have for them to be up there early in the morning when, when we were sleeping. Samir, how important a win was this for you guys? You're now tied with Kentucky for second in the conference. Uh, each and every game is important to us, not just where we wasn't just focusing on Kentucky. We're focusing on each and every opponent that we we'll face. So we know the importance of each and every game. One loss can put you in a in the worst spot. And we're playing for seed. And at the end of the day, right now, we're trying to have a good seed, seed going into the uh, into the March Madness. So we know that each and every game is important to us. Everybody good? All right. I love y'all.